Hey folks, here Rachna Rana here, and I welcome you all to an unplanned live stream, which is about Adani Wilmer IPO, which got recently listed on our stock exchange, right? Uh, so if you remember, uh, as far as this company goes, I had already uh, done a separate video on uh, about about the basics of the company. Uh, we had discussed about the entire company, its fundamentals. We had discussed about the valuation. We had discussed about all the IPO details, right? Everything we had discussed today, uh, the other day. Uh, in fact, I also had done a separate live stream uh, wherein I had discussed uh, whether I am going to apply for this IPO or not. And um, in fact, during is my is my stream broken or is it is it proper? I am getting a, a delayed feedback, so I'm not sure. I just I hope the uh, sound, video, everything is okay. Just let me know quickly, right? Okay, chalo. So uh, uh, with that, uh, if you remember, I had done a full-fledged video on uh, Adani Wilmer, its fundamentals, IPO details, everything, everything. And uh, then we had done a separate live stream wherein I had told you whether I will apply or not, right? Uh, I had also told you that, yes, uh, I will apply through all five accounts. I did apply through all five accounts, but I got an allotment for two accounts, okay? So now you can imagine... Uh, one lot in one account, one lot in another account is what I had gotten for Adani Wilmer. Now, I'll quickly give you some base details. Okay, what was the IPO price band? It was 218 to 230. So upper, uh, up, sorry, the upper price band was at 230, right? What was the listing day? Listing almost happened at 227, almost flat or shared at a discount that happened, but it closed almost with 16.6% gains. Okay. After day one of listing, what has happened with the company? I just want to quickly share my screen and I'll, I want to quickly show you how this stock has performed over this last two to three days, right? So if you see here, I'm zooming in my screen. This is what the share price looks. This is day one, day two, day three, okay? Day one with almost, as I mentioned, 15% gains. Day two, if you see here, day two is almost 20% gains, followed by day three also almost 20% gains. Uh, now with this, uh, if you remember while discussing the IPO, I had told you that yes, fundamentally it was good. I had told you that yes, IPO was also fairly priced. Okay. Uh, big question with all these things and with almost how much percentage, you know, almost I'm calculating this is roughly 67.9% gains. How much? 67.9% gains in less than a month. Okay. Am I happy with this gains is the big question that you should ask yourself. Okay. Am I happy as an investor with this gains? My answer is yes. Me khup haurat nahi hai. Okay. In Marathi haurat is greedy. Okay. So if I'm getting this amazing gains, question is, am I going to sell the shares of this company? My answer is partially yes. Means what? Out of whatever quantity I have, for half quantity, I'm do, going to do a profit booking. Why? Because I had this in my mind that whatever quantity I get, I'm going to look at it partially from a listing gains perspective, partially from a long-term perspective. Okay. Because as a retail individual investor, we don't have unlimited funds, right? We have comparatively limited funds. And I would love to churn these funds whenever I get any opportunity to invest, right? So half shares, whatever I have, I'm going to sell it off now why did i take this decision because i thought that every time i tell you will i apply i thought i should also tell you will i sell if i've gotten the application in the ipo right now see this okay day one good day two good day three good now one basic very basic question people some people might be like are madam it is in circuit how will i sell if it is an upper circuit you can sell upper circuit means all buyers no sellers if you want to sell you can sell okay but at upper circuit if you want to buy you can't buy Okay, very basic points. Now, please pay attention. Why do I feel that partial profit booking I'm going to do? Look at this. This candle is of volumes on day one. This is volume on day two and this is volume on day three. Is the volume of shares continuously dropping? Yes. Now, let me compare this with something like a Burger King. Okay, now you might be like, how on earth is Burger King and Adani Wilmar uh, even correlated to each other? I know, I completely agree. Don't uh, listen to me only partially, okay? I am saying this on the face. Adani Wilmar, Burger King have nothing to do with each other if the fundamentals of the business are concerned, okay? But if I'm talking about what happened on day one, day two, day three of listing, just have a look at this. 
for burger king as well on day 1 of listing it was flattish okay but day 2 of listing if you see a uh, so day 1 also not not even flattish i think i should check how much exact percentage gain is this i'll have to go and check the uh, issue price as well okay but fair enough uh, gain even as compared to open price versus closing price if you check day 2 of listing if 20% upper circuit day 3 of listing again 20% upper circuit and look at day 4 day 4 was 10% lower circuit okay now have a look at volumes of burger king day 1 volume day 2 volume day 3 volume so this pattern of decreasing volume with increasing price was seen in burger king and this same pattern of decreasing volume with increasing price i can see in adani wilmer as well okay will it be like tomorrow we have to see this big red candle in adani wilmer no can it also hit an upper circuit tomorrow also yes possible i don't know i i don't know any person on earth who can tell with 100% conviction that tomorrow exactly this is what going to happen with this company share but as i mentioned as a retail individual investor am i happy with almost 70% gains in less than a month yes so what have i planned is partial profit booking i am going to do uh, in fact instead of saying i am going to do i have booked partial profit just some time ago i have already sold it so uh, that is that is what uh, i thought of sharing with you that like i tell will i apply i am also going to tell will i sell so that is the reason why i thought of doing this quick live stream i also written quick uh, points uh, so anyways if if someone feels that are i had invested only with a thought process of 100% long term then then the story itself is different if some person has invested with a two years three years horizon story is different but if your thought process was for listing gains then of course ideally one should have booked certain uh, uh, listing gains uh, also right so i hope everyone has understood my view on adani wilmer as i mentioned good listing gains so half profit booking done half i might keep it for few more days depending on uh how, how the price movement is seen right so uh, that is it about adani wilmer i don't want to uh, take this stream to a longer time frame by the way for those whoever are uh, pro investor members i am going to uh, share something on my community tab post right now which is about uh, quarterly results of one company which we have already discussed as a pro investor special so i can see people like srk kya baat hai they have joined in as pro investor members so uh, uh, those who are pro investor members or those uh, members whose membership is due for renewal just check it quickly and uh, i am going to post one very nice quarterly result immediately after the stream is over okay so you can check out the community tab only for pro investor members so i hope you have understood quickly my view on other level today at 9 pm we are having again one interesting live stream which is about uh, which is about web 3.0 right so those who are interested in this new technology uh, then surely don't forget to uh, check out our live stream today at 9 pm till then take care jai hind and bye bye